Tractor trailers packed like sardines off the highway. That was the scene during last weekend's blizzard as drivers try to obey the state's travel ban. But truckers say situations like this are actually putting them and you in danger. NBC Connecticut troubleshooter Sabina Korea Coast investigates. Tractor trailer stacked end to end, fighting for every inch of parking, spilling out onto ramps and roadway. And this site was repeated at truck stops and rest areas along Connecticut's major thoroughfares during the blizzard of 2013. You can see they're out on the road and parked out on the street. These drivers heeding Governor Malloy's travel ban. The problem? There was nowhere to go. And it was so backed up they had the state police down there moving everybody out. <laughs> It wasn't just the weather. Truck drivers say the shortage of places for them to park has been a widespread issue for years, and some fear it can lead to deadly consequences. It means some of the drivers are forced to drive beyond their limits when they're fatigued. They're having to drive illegally because they're beyond their hours. State Police Bridgeport Dispatcher Krasinski, how may I help you? Or if they pull over unsafely, even illegally. Hi, I would like to report an accident that I just saw southbound 95. Is that the one right near the rest area? Yes. With a van and a truck? Yes. December, a car lost control on I-95 South and smashed into a tractor trailer. The truck parked illegally on the shoulder of a rest area entrance ramp. The driver of the car was killed. The trucker told police he was pulled over so he could rest. Oh my God, it was so loud. Less than a week earlier on 95 North, a trucker sleeping in the cab of his vehicle was killed after police say a drunk driver careened into the tractor trailer parked by the ramp to another rest stop. The truck driver's widow tells the troubleshooters she wonders if her husband's life may have been spared if he was able to park farther away from the highway. Every one of our commercial facilities every night is full to overflowing. So what they do is they do pull into whatever is available in the public uh, arena. Then they park on the sides of the highway. They park on entrance ramps to the highway. It's also dangerous to take a, a tractor trailer and, and park it out in a remote area. We've had drivers that have been killed. Mike Riley is an advocate for the trucking industry in Connecticut. He says on any given night, there are up to 1,500 truck drivers all looking for a place to rest their heads in the fewer than 300 spots at the state's 16 open rest areas and service plazas. A state Department of Transportation spokesperson says they've been aware of the shortage for years, but he says there's just not enough money or space to make room for even a third of the truckers who pass through the state each day. The DOT declined the troubleshooter's request for an on-camera interview, but they did say that in the process of renovating the state's service plazas, they're adding 120 more parking spots just for trucks. They've reconfigured what's there. They haven't expanded. If you come early, you find a place to park. Yeah. Well, we got to drive until 7, 8 in the night. By the time we stop, there's no place else to stop. Industry groups are introducing new legislation this session, hoping to force the DOT to come up with new ways to fix the problem, including allowing truckers to stay in state parks overnight. You got to take your chances. For the NBC Connecticut troubleshooters, I'm Sabine.